Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Ride Share Hub. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, in today's video, we're looking at just how much money you can make driving Uber 70 hours per week. Yes, it is possible to work and drive Uber for 70 hours a week and you might be surprised of how much money you can actually make. So before I get started, I want to thank our sponsor of today's video, Play Octopus which is a company that actually provides Uber and Lyft drivers with a tablet for free when you use my link below to uh, put on the back of your headrest. Passengers can play games, earn cash prizes, and you as the driver earn up to $100 extra per month just by having this sit in your car. It's super fun and easy. Check out Play Octopus with my link below. Sign up. They're expanding and they're probably in your market already, which is awesome. And now let's jump into the video. All right, so in today's video, we are looking at this video from Eddie Doyle. Shout out to Eddie Doyle. And the video title is called What I Earn Driving Uber for a 70 Hour Week. And I just want to thank Eddie for doing 70 hours worth of driving and giving me some uh, content to react to. I've been an Uber driver for four years now. I have quite some experience. So I'm going to break down and critique his uh, driving style and offer some advice to him and to you on you know how to improve uh, this and uh, you know uh, yeah let's get started. 2021, I earned almost forty dollars an hour driving Lyft, thirty-five dollars an hour driving Uber, sort of. Those figures didn't take into account any sort of expenses or how much I earned in promos. For example, I know that the thirty-nine fifty an hour I earned with Lyft would have actually been $25 an hour if it wasn't for the bonuses that they paid out. And on top of that, these numbers were done sporadically, a couple hours here and there, most likely as I was filming some of the most slept on content that's currently on YouTube. But it made me wonder, what would my earnings be like if I was a full-time Uber driver in 2022? Yeah, so what he was talking about at the beginning with the uh, bonuses is a lot of times, um, Uber or Lyft will give a tremendous huge bonus at the beginning to drivers to kind of incentivize them to start doing Uber or Lyft and then you know after they do their first week those bonuses are gone you're you know you're, you're kind of left to earn that um, amount or like more like 25 bucks an hour which is almost cut in half full time as in you can't look at it as a reliable source of income over the long term it's a great form of temporary pay personally i think it's an awesome solution to work towards something maybe work a weekend or two to cover your rent i'm using my uber earnings to save up for a bitcoin just hit the 10% <laughs> mark i say that because in a city like philadelphia where the average income is $29,000 a year and one in five people yeah i actually agree with him i i do think uber and lyft is incredibly great for a uh, a temporary solution so like if you're behind on rent or you need to pay your rent next week or if you want to like su like subsidize that cost so if you want to just only drive uber t to pay for your rent only or your mortgage and then have your normal you know salary just be what you live off of like i think that that's incredible for me the reason i signed up was to pay off a credit card debt and so, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good to do, to achieve a goal in a very, very quickly in a very short amount of time. Uh, but you'll see most people, it doesn't make sense to do it full time for you know, years after years like you would a normal career. People live below the poverty line. I know some people might hear how much you can earn and think, Ed doesn't know what he's talking about. I could definitely make it work full time with those kind of, and you can be deactivated at any moment. It's happened to me on three separate occasions, even though I offered Uber dash cam footage. Of we do have a link below if you do get deactivated, by the way, uh, referral code, check it out. Every Shameless ride plug. showed that the riders were lying. Uber could not care less. So I'm gonna show you how much I earned working on the weekend, and then I'm gonna show you how much I earned during the week. So on the weekend, he made 1,138 uh, bucks. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, $500 on one Saturday, not bad. Peak, which was considerably lower. And then I'm, I'm gonna give you the combined total. So, so there's the, I mean, we have the total right here. The week, which so uh, one, on Monday, 21, uh, he made 326 bucks on Wednesday. So the, um, what is that? 28 plus 30. Yeah. So that's around 60 hours uh, per week. I don't know where the other 10 are, 10 hours are. 
which was considerably lower. And then I'm going to give you the combined total. So on the weekend of March 11th, I earned over $1,100 and was online for 27 and a half hours. However, I took into account the amount of time okay. to get home. This is good. So he actually isn't just counting the online time only because, you know, at the end of the night, you got to come home. And uh, in between, you got to go get lunch. You got to go do that. You're not getting paid for that. And you should take into account those times like you would any other normal job. Oh, since that's still time and gas and wear and tear in the car that I otherwise would not be using. In total, I drove for a little over 28 hours, put over 600 miles on my car, and spent $113 in gas. Cheese! Track what I paid for gas, that works out to be about $36 an hour. Something that's really important to notice about this payout, however, is that only $550 of this came from rides. The rest comes from the promotion Uber runs every week. You hit a certain amount of rides, you get a bonus. The, he's talking about quest my friends so if you're new to uber uber kind of you know dangles a little care in front of you and he goes hey you know you only got to do 50 rides to get another bonus hey you know you only got to do 80 rides this week and you get another extra little bonus and that is the way that uber wins every single time to getting drivers to drive more and more and more which varies every week Again, very unpredictable earning. Without the $380 that I got from bonuses, I'm making less than $20 an hour. With the bonus money, that bumps me up to $33 an hour. So where'd that extra $3 an hour tips. come from? That comes from tips. You gotta be a nice guy when you're driving for Uber. Be extra nice. And use Play Octopus because that's gonna help you get way more tips. Link below. $94 in tips, which is great and it's super appreciated, but it's another reason why you can't rely on Uber for income. That's almost 10% of my earnings based on the kindness of strangers. And I don't know about you, but that's not what I want to rely on to pay my bills. It's tipping automatically, yeah. it's for the birds. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, they're just doing their job. Uber is not like a restaurant where everybody's expected to tip. Who did throw in? And most people tip 18 to 20%. Really, you don't tip. They don't believe me. The majority of people don't tip at all and and when they do, it's very rarely 20%. These people push their ass. This is a hard job. So I was working at McDonald's, but you don't feel the need to tip them, do you? Society says, don't tip these guys over here, but tip these guys over here. That's bullshit. And of course, you can't really drive <laughs> over on the weekend without driving drunk people. And on this weekend, Ew. Unexpected things that happen in the Uber. Ew. I present to you the aftermath of a grown ass woman who got drunk, fell asleep, and while she was passed out, relaxed her bladder. Not only is it not fun to clean up a stranger's piss from your own back seat, this gig is literally the definition of time is money. So as I'm elbows deep in a stranger's piss, all I can visualize is money flying out the window. Now I did report it to Uber, and Uber gave me $150 for the damages. Let me know in the comments what you think of that payout. I'm it's not bad. That's not bad. I've seen better. Uh, basically, the reason why they do 150 bucks is because that money, they're basically paying you money to go get a detail of your car. You know, hire a professional detailing service to come and clean your car. Now, what they don't take into consideration is that it takes time to go take your car to get detailed. It takes time to get the car to actually get detailed. And, you know, a lot of times it doesn't work out in your favor at all unless, you know, you, I mean, it is nice to get a, a car detail every once in a while. So, I mean, but yeah, other than that, you don't really need to get your car detailed more than once per year, in my opinion. So, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? 150 bucks? Is that good enough? I think it should be more like $300 because that should really take into consideration a lot of times after you get your car detailed. Your car, your car seats are wet. You gotta let it um, air out for six to eight hours. It really isn't good at, um, you know, uh, car details are great, but it's not gonna, anyway, it's, it's, this is definitely an inconvenience for the driver. I'll put it that way. Change, but I'd rather not have my car smell like piss for the rest of the night. No! Now, I've been doing this long enough. Okay, let's skip ahead. Sit rate to almost $18 an hour. Now, before I combine the total earnings, I want to share with you
average 27 miles a gallon, which is three miles a gallon less than I usually do when I'm not working Uber. Shows how inefficient the style of driving you're doing. A lot of stop and go, which is not good for your car. True. After paying for gas, I cleared $2,053. That comes out to be $30.58 an hour. 160 of those dollars were in tips. So if you took that away, that would be $28 an hour. And if you take away the promotion money, which varies every week, or it's not guaranteed you even make it. You could be one ride short and get a flat tire true true uber could suspend you from working because a rider reported you for no reason so if you take away the 640 dollars in total i earned from promotions that drops my hourly earnings down to 18 dollars and 66 cents an hour before taxes and expenses moral of the story the promotions will make or break your so that's before taxes and expenses um which by the way is why it's really important to make sure to have an accountant to help you with your taxes play them right to make sure you are marking off all your expenses. And you don't get unlucky with tickets or accidents. You can earn around $28 an hour plus tips. And if you take away that very conservative estimate of 35% for taxes and car repairs, that means after all your expenses, you're clearing $18.32 an hour plus tips. And in my case, this week, that worked out to be $19.87 an hour. I always like to extrapolate hourly earnings to an annual income. So hypothetically, if you did this for 40 hours, hours a week, 50 weeks out of the year, after all of your taxes and expenses and two weeks off, you would earn 19.87 times by 40 times, times by 50. 50. $39,754 a year. Which, For 70 hours, keep in mind, my friend. It's relatively speaking is 10K more than the average pre-tax income in Philadelphia. However, remember with Uber, you get no benefits and True. your earnings can fluctuate like crazy. But actually Uber does, is now providing some help with help, health insurance. I will, I will give them that. Uh, you do got to do some digging on that though. Easy for factors totally. And it does vary based on what you know level you're in with Uber. The outside of your control. Great form of temporary pay, but I implore you, do not rely on this as a long-term solution. If you want to see some of the really. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about this? Do you think Uber is good for full-time income, part-time income, side hustle? Are you quitting Uber? What's your game plan with Uber? And thanks again, big shout out to Eddie Doyle. Make sure to. Uh, go give him a follow. I'm just gonna, uh, you know, subscribe and make sure to like his video, which you should do to mine as well. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye now.